Uh, hello YouTube, um, this is a tutorial video on how to change your iPod's name on your computer. Um, what I mean by that is um, some people when they plug in their iPods, I'll, well let me show you an example. I'm going to unplug my iPod and plug it back in. Uh, you can hear it sinking into my iPod, uh, my computer and I'm going to open iTunes first and it's going to say what you named it or if you named it or left it alone whatever it's going to say you know so I, I named it that but sometimes when you open it opens another window and it shows that it's saying something else well this tutorial video is going to show you how to change that um, what you want to want to do is go to windows or the start button you're going to want to click on device and printer uh, if you don't have Windows 7, I'm not sure if it has it on there, but you're going to want to go to Control Panel. Once you Control Panel, you're going to want to look for Hardware and Sound, so click on that. Then, as you can see, Devices and Printers are at the top, so you're going to want to press that. Once in there, you want to scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see that there's two boxes down there. Uh, Apple Mobile Device USB Driver and Apple iPod. You're going to want to right-click on the Apple iPod and select Properties. In here, you're going to see that you know it has the name that you don't want and all this other crap that you don't really need. You're going to want to go to hardware and select properties. You're going to want to have an administrator nearby or you know get the password or you know whatever because uh, you're going to need an administrator as you can see there at the symbol. So you want to click here and say uh, to change some settings. Once in here, you're going to want to go to driver and uninstall the driver and press OK. okay. From here, you're going to want to unplug your iPod or if you, have, if you don't have it plugged in, or well, you should have it plugged in, uh, and then plug it back in. Just give it a minute. Uh, let's install it. And it should pull up and say Apple iPod. I do not know how to change that name to the original, I mean, your name that you named it on iTunes, but that's how you get rid of the name that it says before. Uh, so that concludes my tutorial. Um, please rate, subscribe, uh, and comment, and stay tuned for new videos. Peace.